Hi everybody, welcome to a random tandem video. In this video I'm going to talk about this big thing. It's called the Nordic Wear Microwave Popcorn Popper. This bad baby is huge. On the internet it looked smaller than what it is now. It comes in two colors, red and this color. And when I got this I was washing it out in the dark and it had all these spots on there and I was scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and I was wondering why the spots weren't coming out and I turned on the light and realized it's part of the decorations. Now I have been uh, using popcorn and I've been using the paper bag method and I have not had success on using that because I like flavored popcorn. I like butter. I like salt. I'm not one of those type of people that just eat popcorn that's just bland. It tastes like paper. If I want to eat paper, I eat paper. But I like popcorn with butter and salt and stuff. So um, I bought this because I don't have to plug it into anything and I can just store it in my closet and it's not going to take up well. I don't want to say it's not going to take up counter space because this thing is huge. Um, I'm going to try different versions of this. See different types like with oil and butter and other ingredients and see which ones come out uh, better. This, Like I said, this thing is huge. Um, I have a, well my brother-in-law has allowed me to use his microwave and it's a Frigidaire microwave. And this thing, if you can see, it's about like that much radius left over in the microwave. This thing takes up just about the majority of my microwave space. So do not let this internet pictures fool you. I thought it was smaller than this, but it's not. And I, I think it makes about probably, I don't know, I throw away the paper, but it makes probably about three to five cups of popcorn. And it's just me. I'm not going to eat that much. So I'm going to get set up and I'm going to start doing some experiments and seeing which uh, popcorn tastes the best. And uh, Hopefully, what works for me may work for you. So stick around, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the popcorn that I have. Um, I remember buying this when I was on the Daniel Fest, I believe the beginning of last year. And I clean cut, forgot I had it. I bought other bags of popcorn and I used that up. And I used this just in case, and I realized the uh, expiration date was last year. Uh, so. I wouldn't be upset if this wouldn't come out right. So I'm going to put like just a little bit of popcorn in here. Just a little bit. I know it's called for a third cup of popcorn, but that makes a lot. And I don't want a lot. Not right now, anyway. I'm just doing some experiments to see how well that comes out. Oops, maybe that is a lot more than I wanted to. Um, I'm just go ahead and take some of that and put it back in the bag. <laughs> I hope this comes out right. The expiration date shouldn't be that bad. Like I said, I'm not gonna. I don't want to put too much on here because I'm gonna be testing out a lot, and I don't want to be burnt out of popcorn. So, and I'm dropping it everywhere. I think I'll take a little bit more out of there. Okay, so that should be enough for a taste test. Probably still probably too much, but it should work. So after the Daniel Fast, I had went on ahead and purchased these butter sprinkles. Improved taste my butt. That don't work. And then I turned around and I bought this. And that doesn't work. And I bought this. And um, like I said, when I... Um, put it in a brown paper bag it didn't work so I'm gonna try just the um, kernels butter stuff I haven't used this in a minute so I'm gonna shake this up oh it ain't got brick hard <laughs> just my luck um, yeah well I'm gonna put some of that on there and some popcorn salt just to see. I didn't put no oil in here so I, I, I won't expect that to stick. But if I can get some more <laughs> this butter that's been sitting here for a while I can see if that works. So I got that loosened up a little bit. Oh wow! <laughs> there. I just made a big mess. So I'm going to um, try this out 
put it in the microwave for about two minutes and then I'm gonna come back and show you the results all right I put this on for two minutes but I turned it off um, probably like a minute and uh, 30 seconds left well I had 20 seconds left on here and I turned it off because it smelled like it, it was starting to uh, burn um, now the experiment was just using the Morton salt and the uh, kernel seasonings butter seasoning and I did shake it up and the bowl is still hot you will most definitely need some gloves getting that out of there I see probably like a little scorch mark um, ah, that's still hot. <laughs> I see a scorch mark right there, so I don't know if that is because it overcooked. I don't know. I don't know. This is the first time I use it, so this is going to be the first time I taste it. Uh, yep, it tastes uh, like what I expected. It doesn't have no taste to it at all, and I can't see how people can eat popcorn like this. Um, I mean it's popcorn, uh, I can taste a little bit of salt but I cannot taste the butter and I'm trying to see if it's, oh wow, the bottom of this thing is scorched, hold on, let me show you guys, let me show the, hold on, Ooh. that's what that looked like, so I'm going to um, see if I can rinse that out and I'm going to try a different, um, try this a different way so hopefully I didn't completely burn that we'll see how the other experiment come out okay all is well with the bowl it just uh, left some little yellow stains there um, so I'm gonna try again but this time I'm gonna use some actual oil this thing holds a lot of heat I rinsed this out in some hot scalding water and that bowl is, is warm, so um, be careful if you sit this on a surface that you're not supposed to sit it on without any heat protectant. So again, I'm going to put just a little bit in there. As I said, I'm not going to eat if it's, if it's not good. I'm not going to eat it. So um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put. I know it's not a lot, but. Like I said, this is just some samples to see how well this bowl cook. And I'm going to uh, put some vegetable oil in there. I'm not measuring it because I know the actual amount is a third cup of popcorn kernels and one to two uh, either teaspoons or tablespoons of oil. So I'm just going to like saturate that like a genius. Okay, so I'm going to put some more um, popcorn seeds in that. A little bit more. This probably might turn out better since it has some oil. Okay, saturating that. That is completely saturated. And again, I'm going to use the popcorn salt. And I love salt and I love a lot of it. So Somebody just probably had a heart attack right now by looking at that. But I guarantee you, not all of these is going to be on here. So again, I'm going to put this on for probably a minute and 20 seconds, I guess. Or 30 seconds. And uh, see how that turns out. Okay. Uh, again, I put this on for uh, a minute and probably 30 seconds. Um... Again, the bowl is pretty hot, and uh, the lid is. This is all the oil. Oh, all the oil and the salt, I guess. Hmm. I think the um, the flavor and stuff is all on the lid. I can hear popcorn kernels. Oh, that's a lot of popcorn kernels. I turned it off too soon, but um, I'm not worried about that because, like I said, I'm not going to be eating all this. I just wanted to see how this turn out. Um, I did the oil and the salt. Oh my goodness, this is not working. Uh -huh. I can taste the salt, which is a plus, but it's, it's better than the other one. Um, 
I don't taste like it doesn't have like a a buttery taste to it but my concern is if I could taste the salt now I'm gonna see about this one just to see how that does see how it tastes okay so yeah this doesn't taste like butter and the stale day hasn't happened yet so that's a plus but um, just sprinkling that on the butt on top of the popcorn without mixing it in I can taste it uh, it's not bad I guess the more I eat it the better it tastes I guess <laughs> um, so with the oil and the salt and sprinkling that on top that one works instead of this one in the salt so uh, these three concoctions work the vegetable oil the popcorn salt and the uh, butter seasoning that works better than the first two so the next uh, one I'm gonna do is gonna be off camera because this is butter that um, I have to put in the refrigerator keep in the refrigerator I don't want to talk while the butter is sitting out but I guess I'm going to eat this batch and then I'm going to come back and make the other one. Alright, same as the other batches. I just only put like a little bit of popcorn in there. And I just took a spoonful of butter and I put it on there. And I wanted to get the kernels to uh, be covered in the butter as much as I could. Some of them aren't. but And then I'm going to, again, put a little bit of salt on here. This time a little bit. Like I got carried away the last time. And I know... Uh, the butter already has salt in it, but I just wanted to give it just a little bit more, like I said, I like salt. So again, probably a minute and 50 seconds, or a minute and a half, and I'll show you the results. Alright, this bowl is still hot. <laughs> really, really, really hot. And uh, I put butter in this one, and it took longer for this to start popping, so I added another 30 seconds on there, but I ended up cutting it off when there was like 20 seconds left um, so I'm going to see how this one tastes with just the butter and salt and the bowl is hot okay <laughs> now I know I've plastered this with butter but um, as long as I can taste the salt that's fine um, I only have like probably one or two kernels that didn't pop in here which is great um, it does have like a little butter taste to it I'm probably gonna have to buy the uh, popcorn oil with the butter tasting oil on there my take is that this works pretty well um, I would highly recommend using some kind of uh, wet substance to make this pop a lot better a lot faster um, the butter work the vegetable oil work and I've seen somebody who used coconut oil I have coconut oil but I done made this three times and um, I don't want to be all popcorned out, but uh, maybe I will try the coconut oil, maybe not. This thing gets pretty hot real fast and it's recommended that you do not put this on a surface that's not um, uh, prone to heat. That's, um, that won't, that you can take, oh gosh, I can't get it out. I wouldn't put this on anything that doesn't protect against heat. Um, I do have like this little warm thingy on here so I got it on top of that but uh, you do need some gloves <laughs> to take this bowl out it does keep your popcorn warm for a long time which is great uh, oil and butter work solo no if you don't like um, popcorn without the butter or salt but if those who like but no butter and no salt you're good to go uh, two minutes Two, um, two and a half minutes or probably two minutes tops is probably will work with the little uh, popcorn that I have probably if I put a lot more in there two minutes is probably still enough there to pop a whole bowl of popcorn so this is my take on the Nordicware microwave ha that is still hot popcorn bowl um, this would be my now go to source instead of using brown paper bags thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next random tandem video